Hello everybody, it is 2025. Happy New Year. Uh, I hope you had a great uh, holidays. And I thought we'd start out the new year with a, uh, an easy going video. It's about what books would I buy if I were to learn electronics from start. So you know nothing about electronics. Uh, you don't have a technical background and you want to learn electronics because you want to make something, you know, the makerspace is really popular these days, the do-it-yourself space is very popular. And you want to make some gadget or something, and but you know nothing of electronics. Which books would I choose to start with? Well, uh, many videos, articles recommend this book. This is an older edition, I think. Um, and while this book is great, and I obviously bought it as well, it's very dry and with a lot of theory. Um, and if you start out with this book, knowing nothing of electronics, even though the, the title is kind of like inviting, right? Practical electronics for inventors. Uh, I think if you start out with this book, you'll give up if you don't have a technical background. It's a lot of math, a lot of, a lot of theory, um, but uh, it's a great book to have. I would definitely buy this, but I will buy it a little later. So let's forget about this book for now and I'll give you my choices. Let's put this away. So the absolute first book I would buy is uh, this one by Charles Platt. It's the it's from the Make series, and you'll see I got a lot of uh, books from uh, Make. Uh, they make excellent introductory uh, books about electronics and the makerspace in general. Um, but this, you know, it has photos, it has uh, easy explanations. Uh, this will really, really get you going. Uh, and Charles is an absolute great teacher and you can see it's you know it's not too complicated the math is uh, simple enough um, so this is a great book and it starts out really simple you know like for instance measuring the current in your in your skin so how much resistance does your skin produce uh, <laughs> I thought it was kind of kind of original to uh, to start out with it uh, goes from very simple with uh, batteries to uh, semi-complex as you can see and you also don't need a lot of gear uh, you just got to have a, a couple of items and there is a shopping list in the book as well so if you think this is also a little overwhelming because I can understand that if you look at these components like you see here and you know you see this little uh, uh, you see LED light here, a potentiometer, uh, a capacitor and you see all these resistors and you really don't know okay I I'm looking at them but what are those? Then the next books are a lifesaver as well. Let me get them. And those are the, the encyclopedias, also by Charles Platt. There's a common theme here. But uh, these three books, if you keep these as a reference next to this one and the next book I'm, I'm going to show you, you, you'll be able to learn electronics, no problem whatsoever. So this book, uh, every book has a theme. So this book is about... Uh, kind of like components, uh, resistors, capacitors, inductors, switches, uh, power sources and conversion. So that title says it all. The next one is signal processing. So your displays, your audio, uh, stuff like that. And then you have the other book about sensors. So uh, presence, proximity sensors, orientation, sound, electricity sensor, heat sensors, light sensors. So with these books, you can get a little extra explanation. For instance, let's say you have no clue what a, a, a relay does. 
right? And you really want to know what a relay does. So we'll look it up and you can see there's a chapter here, relay, page 61. We'll go to 61. And there you get in detail an explanation about relays. And you read this because, you know, electricity and components, you just need to visualize it and you need to get a grip on how it works internally. You get a nice internal image there. So you can understand the what, what's actually going on, you know? So these books are a great addition to have on your shelf next to this book. So using these two uh, is already enough to get you started. But the bonus book I would buy is this one, Open Circuits. This is actually a work of art. This book will take a component and will give you the inside of it. You know, it will cut the component in half and it will show you what's going on inside, how it is uh, created, how it is made up. Like it's, it's beautiful photos and they actually show you what's going on inside some of these things. So here we have a capacitor, they cut it open and you can see inside the capacitor. So yeah, this is a potentiometer. Uh, normally you see the component like this, it's just a blue box. But in this book, they cut it open and you can see what's going on inside. Now this will help you immensely learning electronics. It will, it will take away the, the, the magic behind the components and will, you will gain a deeper insight into what's actually going on. So, to wrap things up, uh, it's a short little video. Start out with the Make Electronics by Charles Platt. If you can, get the Encyclopedias by Charles Platt. And if you have the budget, get yourself this book, Open Circuits, The Inner Beauty of Electronic Components. And with these books and a little uh, discipline and hard work, you'll be making gadgets in no time. Uh, I hope this was helpful. Uh, again, I wish you a happy 2025 and there's gonna be some exciting projects uh, coming up on this channel in the next weeks. So please, if you like these videos, consider subscribing. It will help me out immensely. Like this video and we'll see you soon because we're gonna do some fun things. Bye.